Alright, hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only. How are my adventures doing? Welcome back to another devlog. This is devlog number 25. And in this video, I have changed a lot of things. First off, this is two videos in one that's been edited down to 22 minutes from like two hours and a half or three hours, whichever one. But uh, this is basically just me fixing and cleaning up a lot of the codes that uh, game dev told me to do. And now it's a little bit more, you know, eye pleasing. <laughs> Let's say that. But um, the next one is going to be that I changed the whole, well, you guys seen what I was talking about, the whole gin. And a few videos here. Yeah, a few bit really <laughs> a few videos ago I was talking about that gin four and lower used to have like that um that typing for moves to where you know like elementals sort of like ice water fire you know anything that was like elemental wise always end up being special like special moves and anything that was other than that like poison steel um ground was all like physical attacks so that has been changed now to where i can set any move i feel like is a physical attack to a physical attack and i can set any move that i feel like is a magic attack to a magic attack. But as you guys see, I've been keeping up with that with the devlogs up to this point. Magic attacks is in place of special attacks. So yeah, that has finally been changed. That was the number one thing I wanted to change, but he randomly went over it as I was going through it. And we and we have that in the game now. <laughs> Which is great. I guess I should be saying like we and stuff like that. Like he told me. It's like I don't actually communicate with this person. I just actually watch his videos and study what he does. So I can put it in my own way into my game. Basically like going through a mini course through his videos. But the last thing we do is also... No, was it? There was there was also quite a few other things that we did. As I'm here going through all this. Chain typings and Oh yeah, we added boost effect skills. Ski well moves that increase statuses is what we've done so far. I don't fully know if well we do have moves that also decrease statuses but it's not through an attack form which is one thing that is there like you can you can just throw moves and they'll decrease stats but they won't deal damage at the moment at the right at the moment right now we just have status effects and we'll slowly be putting in like poison static freeze etc etc later down the road but as of right now, we're, we've done that. We've, as in myself, I keep saying we, I don't know why. <laughs> but yeah, I put that in there. And to be honest, we're pretty set. I had to go in and test a few things just to make sure I didn't screw anything up. And also, thank you guys for voting on the community tab. Basically uh, voting between like which design point I should go like on 3d which is less on my list than anything else on there i think i had a little typo in there but you guys still understood what i meant but i've been leaning towards either 2d or 3d world slash 2d sprites and so far it seems like a lot more people have been more interested in the 2d sprites more than anything which helps to know though 
because if people uh, actually prefer that, I don't actually have a problem learning it because it it shouldn't be all that difficult. It's only just going to be a little bit different from like, you know, tile sets at best. Uh, let's see. Where are we at now? As that's going on. Thank you guys for voting. It really does help. I I will start trying to use the community tab a lot more. Emphasis on try. <laughs> I, I normally forget that it's there most of the time. And that's also another place where I can, you know, share updates and stuff like that. <sighs> been a long journey we've if we made a lot of progress since our first devlog first devlog we were doing like rpg maker found out that that's actually very limited versus everything else and plus like trying to i've noticed that trying to put my images on rpg maker didn't work out like too well because it would still have that blurry effect, but with Unity, I could actually sharpen it and make it actually feel like it's in the game. So that's been fixed and changed. Um, still trying to figure out a way to use particle effects as attacks instead of, you know, just that moving forward animation, which I want to keep, but also want it to like play a certain animation, which I'm probably going to make like an attack canvas to where it actually shows like you know attacks <laughs> it's, it's gonna be very very interesting to try and figure out all this but i'm not in a rush for that maybe he'll go over it down the road maybe he won't if he doesn't then i will try and do it myself or get somebody else who knows way better than me to do that then that'll help me just, you know, find the particle effects or get the particle effects made from Fiverr and put them in a the game, which will also help too. Whichever helps the progress of the game, you know. As I'm learning, I'm also having other people help me learn. So I'm not really all that concerned. Okay, so we have like little a little dictionary here that some places are going to pull from code. I don't have a, yeah, that's not uppercase. <laughs> so that's why that was an error right there. Not going to change all this. I probably won't be talking through this whole video because I didn't really have too much prepared to say here because it's almost time for me to go to sleep at 6, 6 p.m. <laughs> and I, I like to sleep so I can won't actually be grumpy as hell when I go into work <laughs> in the morning. But most of the stuff is like very self-explanatory. It's not like extremely difficult from what I've done so far. The only thing I have an issue with is like knowing like what functions to put in like what area like if i change something in the base monster girl and my brain's just like do i put something in a battle system or do i put something in here that, that's most of the complicated part then i gotta learn like what in unity do i have to put in for that stuff too like my brain is is scattered i'm a scattered brain. let's just say that <laughs> It takes a while for me to like think of things. So if I didn't have this tutorial or this guide, I, it would definitely take me a lot longer. And thankfully there's a lot of guides, you know, being made out there. But there's a whole, well, what I've learned from this guide is that there, there, there are a whole bunch of combinations, like an insane amount of combinations and things I didn't even think of that he's doing because my coding would have been a lot more simple I guess it's mostly that my game would be a lot more simplified versus this 
<laughs> um, down the road, I do plan on doing a horror game because I haven't. I have a fun idea for one. I'm not sure how amazing it's gonna be, but I have a fun idea for one. <laughs> So that's going to be quite interesting in the future. Whenever I'm done with this, that I could probably could be like a year or two years, who knows. All I know is I plan on putting a lot of work in actually getting it playable for like a Patreon this year. That's the plan. <laughs> Since I've been asked quite a few times to just make a Patreon. This is basically my own money going into this whole project for Fiverr and everything, hiring people to help me with like artwork, which I don't mind, you know, but I will say this, if I have to move into like a little bit more expensive place or have to do like more expenses towards like bills, it could be quite troublesome from that point, but who knows, life is very very random let's say that so who knows that could probably make me over the patreon a little bit faster since I don't really make much off YouTube because that doesn't help I don't really like advertise myself anymore either I just don't like posting stuff on reddit because there's a small chance of that getting seen because it's just other content creators it's not like other people who just constantly watch YouTube it's mostly others that make content and they're too busy to watch your content so eh I guess I could go back to Twitter <laughs> but Twitter is also very toxic just as toxic as most reddits <laughs> could also go back to Facebook yeah that could be a thing <laughs> but for some reason I keep forgetting that my Facebook page exists <laughs> every fucking time <laughs> Who knows? We'll, we'll see. I'll, I'll come up with something. I'm in no hurry. Oh, this is where I started turning on references so I can see how many references that are being used. Because I noticed that uh, Game Dev had it and he was talking about like rep references being used and everything. So, yeah. So I have to do that now. With that said, uh, I'm actually going to disappear here because it's definitely about time for me to go to sleep. And I will see you guys on the next one. Enjoy the rest of the video. I keep forgetting I have to move myself to the right. <laughs> I, I started playing like Prey and I, I totally forgot. <laughs> So yeah, I do live stream if you guys want to sub and get notifications for whenever I live stream. Because I dual live stream on YouTube and Twitch. But that's it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out.